Sorry about last night, critical mass. Today is the 24th of April, 2016. Two straight nights of satyrs. Last night we had everybody over. It was nice. I'm not going to lie to you. It was nice. Why would I lie to you? Why would I even say that? It's kind of kooky. I have finished The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. And I didn't think the season was as good as the first one. But it was interesting. And it kind of took a weird turn at the end. And Tina Fey was in season two. I don't know if she was necessarily had to be there, but her part was kind of funny. Um, yeah. You know, I, I realized I was drifting in and out. I wasn't into it, into it the way I thought I would be. But I realized a lot of television lately that I'm not really, it's not really, like, captivating. A lot of stuff isn't captivating me lately, and I find that distressing. That's the way it is sometimes. I just saw the end of Top 5, Chris Rock's movie, which I don't think got enough got any of the recognition it deserved. It was a good good fucking movie. Really good. And you got a little Kanye, and I didn't know that Jay-Z and Kanye were producers on it, which was nice. And it was a good movie. He's good. I like him. I have, right now I've on uh, Thief, which Rotten Tomatoes got a 69% to, which is a crock of shit. The movie's not 69%, it's a top 80, 85%. Freaking James Conn is my favorite actor, pretty much one of my favorite actors of all time. He made some bad decisions, but he is he he is the bee's knees, man. I always loved him. And the music in this movie, Tangerine Dream, it's good freaking music. It's just a really solid movie. It's a really good movie. I highly recommend it. Same guy did Heat, same guy did Ali. I'm blanking on freaking names today. It'll come soon enough and I'll be able to tell you who did this movie. And I'm embarrassed that I didn't. But I feel like I lose I lose memory a lot. It was funny today. We uh, made some cookies and made some, Michael Mann. We made, see, it came to me on the television because I can't remember any of this shit anymore. We made uh, cookies and bread today. And I did not, we had a birthday cake for a couple people's uh, birthday. My mom's birthday, my, uh, fr- my Daryl's birthday, and it was Michael's birthday. So for all three, we had a birthday cake. Ice cream cake. Didn't have any. Still haven't had any dairy. Had one piece of matzah. I've had some, I have had I did have some uh, wheat products, and my eyes have been itching, so I'm going back to none of that stuff. And I thought, yeah, I felt a little difference. A little itchy, a little that. Tomorrow, back to the grind. It was a nice weekend. It was nice uh, to have Passover with friends. No family, but that's okay. Was not meant to be. And that's what happens. Well, no, it was family. My parents were there. What am I talking about? It was fine. Yeah, it was good. The family I wanted around was around. That's all that matters, right? What else is going on in the world? Oh, I saw something today. Norwegian Cruise Lines has a specific 245 people can get the, and I can't remember, I, I forget what they call it, the Haven. I think it's called the Haven. And they, they get VIP to all events, and they get the uh, board and exit the plane before everybody else. Have their own pool. Basically, they don't have to deal with anybody. So they're paying a lot more money. I think uh, 24-hour butler service, all that stuff. I mean, his freaking music's awesome in, in Thief. He plays a thief. He plays a, actually a safe guy. Tuesday Wells in this. James Belushi. It's a great fuck. Great. 81, I think. James Conn's just like cool. Just cool. That's what he, he, he has essence of, it doesn't, it oozes out of him. You know, like in that Seinfeld joke, Jacqueline and Anthony. Oh, that's another thing. Veep's on tonight. Very excited Veep's on. Why do I do this? Silicon Valley, I'm going to watch, but I'm not. It was a show with Don Cheadle I used to watch. I'm a couple episodes behind now, but it wasn't that good. This uh, I watched the first episode. You know what's good now? You can miss a couple and then keep watching it. And Mike Tyson's Mysteries back. If you've ever seen a crazy show, Mike Tyson and Mysteries is kooky looky. It's always like bizarro, bizarro. Highly recommend it. It's 8.38. I'm going to bed soon. Peanuts are tired. Look how tired Peanut is. I think the Mets, Yankees won, Mets lost. All right. Actually, I'm going to watch the end of the Hawks Celtics on OT. I'm going to watch the end of the Hawks Celtics basketball game. All right. Hope everybody's a good night. I apologize for last night's indiscretion. My uh, miss. Peace out. I'll talk to you soon.